It's silver and gold time. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Hey traders, I've just recorded the video walking you through my 10K trading plan. In this video, I'm gonna share with you all the steps to go from nothing to 10K per month. This is the exact formula, step by step by step you need to follow. Click on the button above that says 10K trading plan to get access now. All right, hey traders, let's have a quick look at silver and gold. Silver and gold. So gold continue to just go sideways, hovering around this sort of bottom of this uh, of this channel that I've got here if I move that move that through there a little bit more we you can see that's basically the overall channel that we've got through there we're still are holding at the bottom of, we're still holding at the bottom of this channel so uh, you know it's like what's going to what's what's coming next for silver and gold is it a hold of this channel line like you can see it's been holding for quite some time and then we do have a run up or do we stop because that weekly chart there this weekly chart here uh if you can uh this weekly chart here as you can see is still still after all that time this weekly chart is still hitting this overall area of resistance are we likely to break this if we do break it then we could see an 1850 maybe even higher um coming to come into the come into the market so you can see this is what's happening here um let me bring up this weekly chart here for a minute. There we go. There's, the, there's that weekly chart. I thought something was up with that chart. So there's that weekly chart. We're still at this overall resistance level. And once again, guys, if we look at that daily chart, you can see what's happening right now. We're at that area of resistance. Do we break above that? If we break above here, then we could have a nice, nice move to the high side. But it's still struggling through there, guys. And, and the sellers could actually have another go at this and knock it down again. We could get a big, massive sell-off again in, in silver and gold that's definitely not out of the book so that's what's happening there on silver let's go have a look at gold gold right now is still in the triangle gold is about to explode now is it going to explode up or is it going to explode down but it's going to explode somewhere right gold is about to take off take off up or take off down <laughs> i don't know but if we do take off to the high side, you bets believe, you better believe, I'm, I'm really, 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 uh, I'm going to be all over that. Like a fat kid loves cake. <laughs> mm. So, that's what I do see there on that. But looking at that weekly chart too, that, that, that weekly chart too, guys, I'm not discounting this here. I'm not discounting this. If we do start to break above that, this level through here, then I could see a nice rally, nice 100 point rally in gold. Um, definitely keep an eye on the gold stocks as well too, silver stocks myself. I'm out of all miners right now, um, and I'm just waiting for the right time to pounce, pounce, pounce. Um, but nothing's showing me there yet, but we are still hovering around this our major resistance level on that daily chart. This is the weekly, this is, uh, that was the weekly chart, should I say. This is the daily chart squeezing up into this overall triangle pattern through there, as you can see. And so... You know, gold is about to explode. Where is it going to go? Nobody knows. We just gotta wait for the breakout. Once the breakout happens, then we now have some sort of sense of direction on where it's likely to go. Um, let's have a look at the HUI, no, the XAU. Let's have a look at the GDX here. So what's happening here with the GDX? So, so far with the GDX, let's go to the weekly chart here. So far with the GDX, let me just take this trend line off. Um, let me just go to here. So far with the GDX, you can see that all we have done is we just rallied down, we've rallied right back up, and now we're actually pointing. Now we're actually coming down through here. Now, what is actually happening here with the GDX? What could what what could be forming on the GDX right now? We have this section here, as you can see, it came all the way down, and we had this section through here, and what could be forming right here? A head and shoulders, right? That's actually a major rounding bottom head and shoulders formation. So. If that is the case, then what we do is we measure from the neckline and we measure to the top of the top of the head and the head is more like, that's the absolute resistance through there. So we measure from there to there. And if it does break this neckline, which is a 26, 
we could have a very, very nice run to all-time new highs, or shouldn't say all-time new highs, new highs higher than, I would say, higher than 2016. So, Keep an eye out for that, guys. Interesting, interesting pattern forming on the GDX, the gold miners. Uh, really, really interesting to see what's happening through there. Keep an eye out for that. I definitely am. This is remember, this is the weekly chart here. Massive weekly. Now remember, this is a remember this before, guys. This is a weekly chart. So this has taken so far. What's that? Four to five months. It's gonna be probably six to seven months by the time this thing completes. If it does complete, guess what? I'm going to be all over this, like a fat kid loves cake. Why? Because it's a money-making opportunity. That's why. Um, big, 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 sort of a nice sort of formation through there. And as you can see, that's what's happening through there. Um, and you can see, guys, that we actually got that on the flip side. If I just, let me just take this off here for a minute. You can see that we actually got that on the down, right? We had that shoulder there. We had the head there. We had the shoulder there. Then we had the breakdown. Right, so and then that that was the that was the breakdown, and then what did we have? This here was the neckline, as you can see. So what do we do? We just measure from the top of the head down to the neckline, down to the neckline. We extend that out to the bottom there, and bam, that's where it should get to. Oh, look how close that was. <laughs> that is so cool, isn't it? So it got like literally, like literally, few cents away. It got, yeah, it got like 50 cents away from getting this overall head and shoulder projection. But now we're flipping it. So now we're flipping it. And what are we flipping it into? We're now, let me just delete these off the screen. Um, now we're flipping it into this here, as you can see, right? So now, and, and the thing I like about this, guys, is if we bring up the monthly chart or we bring up that monthly chart, this monthly chart is screaming a long-term buy, right? This monthly chart is screaming long-term buy, but I haven't got my confirmation off my daily chart or my weekly chart yet. So this is the weekly chart. Now, what, let me let me take that back there. Why am I saying this is a long-term buy? Because you can see here, right? Major lower peak, major lower peak. Oh, there's a few lower peaks through there. Major lower peak, major higher peak, major higher trough. It's now holding through here. So this is a the monthly chart's really holding up quite nicely through here on the GDX this is, okay? Forget silver and gold for a minute, but the GDX is quite holding quite nicely. Let's go back to the weekly chart now. So now the weekly chart's showing this head and shoulder formation, which is a nice little high trough. We break that. I do believe, guys, we're going to see a nice run. And if we start to see this, heck, I may even take a position on the GDX, <laughs> you know, for a long-term position, because I do believe that. I can see this happening right now. We do have a little bit of support and resistance around these highs up here. Uh, but I think once his head and shoulder is broken, we may get a little problem through there. But I think we're likely to see best new highs. I and mean, I think we could at least see uh, running back up towards these highs up here. And then I think we're likely to break that, best that. And then I think we could see it move up. But we need to, we need this head and shoulder to need this head and shoulder to complete. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to get more free education about trading, then click on the box that says free trading course. This is a free trading course. It goes for around 12 hours long. It's about 12 videos long. It covers everything from chart reading, mindset, trading systems, money management, trade management, everything you need to get yourself ahead in the markets. And if you'd like to get my help personally, then click on the box that says get John's help and you'll be able to see how you can get my help personally. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And remember, success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.